learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know about opium and its derivatives you will be able to know the history and topographic distribution of this opium and its derivatives you will also study the various signs symptoms in opium poisoning you will also come to know the fatal dose fatal period and post mortem appearance related to the opium poisoning introduction opium is dried extract obtained from poppy plant that is papaver somniferum which belong to the family of papyrusum is a highly addictive narcotic drug the scrapped latex seepage from poppy plant is collected and dehydrated to obtain a gelatinous yellowish brown element which is bitter in taste poppy plant grows well in india but its cultivation is strictly banned it is however permitted only for pharmaceutical purposes but after obtaining license from the central government india produces 70 to 80% of opium that is used worldwide by pharmaceutical companies to manufacture several vital drugs including morphine codeine and phytatin unfortunately a significant quantity of opium is channeled into the global trafficking racket which feeds the illicit drug trade flourishing in the western countries the chief active component of opium is an alkaloid widely known as morphine the latex comprises the systematic associated analgesic opiates like codeine and thebane and also the non analgesic alkaloids such as papaverine and noscapine opium contains approximately 12% of morphine which is treated chemically to create heroin for unlawful drug trade as heroin is less bulky makes it easier to intake heroin is potent approximately twice that of morphine the manufacturing of opium itself has not been changed from the ancient times by prejudiced breeding of poppy plant the component of phenantherine alkaloids like morphine codeine and to a smaller degree thebane has been greatly increased now let us come to the history the sangha of opiums introduction in the human civilization dates back from neolithic time when the farmers had the knowledge of civilization of poppy plant even the sumerian was acquainted with opium which they referred to as plant of joy the earliest mentioned medical use of opium has been scribed in the abrus papyrus that is in 16th century bc opium enjoyed wide popularity in greece and also derived its name from greek word that is opion which means poppy juice the famous greek physician galen prescribed opium as a cure of epilepsy snake bite melcanola hyperthermia etc apparently it was also a culinary treat and cannabis were prepared for different purposes
by the 10th century the herbs had carried the use of opium to china and india as mentioned by berberine an arab physician throughout the 19th century opium culture was developed in united state in addition to the undifferentiating medicinal use opiates were accessible in the united state market in the form of marit similens and patent medicines smoking of opium was unconstrained resulting in the widespread of opiate dependence now let us learn about topographical distribution papyrus semiferum is a shrubby annual plant it can be cultivated in almost all kinds of soil and at any altitude poppy seeds are usually sown in the late spring and can be harvested 90 to 120 days later a healthy plant can attain height up to 3 to 4 feet the flower color ranging pure white to red or purple are largely and reaches a diameter of about 4 to 5 inches under favorable condition 40000 to 60000 plants yield may be enough to produce 1 kg of heroin as the alignment of renaissance broke through europe stark ages the works of ancient arab and greek physician form the basis of all medical learning thus it is not surprising that opium eventually became one of the most important drug in the european physicians medicine chest in india the announced production for the current crop is around 1050 tons so far as no illicit production is reported however as much as 100 tons of illicit opium production is believed to be diverted into illicit trade with the most of its being consumed locally there are many varieties of poppy plants namely papaver dubium linen papaver indicable papaver oriental and papaver rhois opium is produced in many tropical and subtropical countries but on a large scale it produced in india greece yugoslavia iran china bulgaria and turkey the turkish and european varieties of opium is mostly used for medicinal purposes while the indian and persian opium are mainly used for the manufacturing of opium alkaloids now let us learn about the derivatives of opium opium and all its preparation are truly narcotics opium contains a large number of defined highly complex crystalline principles majority of which are alkaloids about 40 alkaloids have so far been isolated out of which morphine codeine narcotin thebane and papaverine are the main now let us learn about them in detail as i told first to see morphine morphine it is the chief alkaloid of opium and occurs in the form of colorless shining crystal having bitter taste it is the most generally used narcotic analgesic that is the pain reliever it induces a state of relaxation and happiness as well as a state of euphoria and causes sleepness also morphine like all other opiates has a tendency to produce constipation 
slow heart action, construction of pupils and producing nausea and gagging. You can see the structure of morphine. Its molecular formula is C17 H19 NO3. Its IUPAC name is 78 dehydro 45 epoxy 17 methyl morphinin 36 idol. Its fetal period is 8 to 14 hours. Its therapeutic dose is 10 to 15 mg. Its fetal dose is 200 mg by ingestion. Next is the codeine. Codeine or methyl morphine is an alkaloid of opium which is prepared from morphine by methylation. It contains similar properties to morphine but it is only one sixth of effective as morphine. It is widely used as analgesic, antidepressive and antidiarrheal agent in a dose of 10 to 60 mg of codeine phosphate orally. You can see the structure of codeine. The molecular formula of codeine is C18 H21 NO3. IUPAC name is 78 dihydro 45 epoxy 3 methoxy 17 methyl morphinin 6 all. Its fetal period is 2 to 4 hours and therapeutic dose is 10 to 60 mg. The fetal dose is 800 mg. Next is the heroin. Heroin or diacetyl morphine is obtained by the acetylization of morphine. It is a white odorless crystalline powder with bitter taste. It resembles morphine in physiological action but is three times more potent than the morphine and has been described as dangerous drug. Like morphine and other opiates, it is taken orally or injected or inhaled. It induces depression and reduction in sex urge, hunger and aggressive drive. Heroin itself is not an active drug, but when introduced into the body, it gets converted into morphine. Heroin completely transformed to morphine through first pass metabolism resulted in deacetylization when injected. The molecular structure of heroin is C21 H23 NO5. The IUPAC name is 78 dehydro 45 epoxy 17 methyl morphinin 36 diol diacetate. The fetal dose is 2 to 4 hours. Therapeutic dose is not applicable and fetal dose is 50 mg. Now let us learn about the modes of administration. Snuffing in the form of snuff, smoking in cigarettes or BDs, chasing a cigarette foil or currency note is folded and is a substitute of tobacco. The drug is put inside, then it is then lighted using the matchstick. When thick smoke comes out, it is inhaled. This is called dragon chasing. The subcutaneous injections or intravenous routes. Now let us learn about the signs and symptoms. These commence usually 30 minutes to 1 hour after the intoxication. The symptoms commonly takes more time to appear when opium is taken in solid form as compared to when it is taken in the form of solution. 
Now first is the chronic intoxication. Generally, the symptoms manifest themselves in three stages, namely stage of excitement, stage of stupor, followed by the stage of necrosis. First is the stage of excitement. In this stage, the individual turn out to be excited with a feeling of well-being and pleasure. Symptoms include increased physiological movement, liberty from nervousness, restlessness, flushing of face or even illusions. This stage doesn't last too long and may even be absent. There is increased of self-confidence but absence of self-control. The addict may also disclose his secrets. Next is stage of stupor. The nerve center are down throughout. This stage which comes occasionally or quite abruptly. Symptoms include headache, vomiting, nausea, drowsiness, lethargic conditions and uncomfortable desire to sleep. The pupils are contracted, lips and face are sinoised and an itching feeling present over the entire body. Next is the stage of necrosis. In this stage, the motor and sensory cells are deeply affected. The person goes into a deep sleep and respond only to strong stimuli. His pulse becomes rapid, pupils are contracted and the temperature of the body falls below the normal. With the recovery, the coma gradually lightens into a deep sleep and the person usually recovers within 8 to 10 hours and finally wakes up with acute depression, nausea, abdominal discomfort, irritability and severe headache. Continued coma can create permanent hypoxic brain damage and even death. Occasionally death occurs from heart failure. The order of opium can exist in the brief during the course of addiction. Now let us learn about acute intoxication, unusual mood swing, periods of depression, altering with euphoria, withdrawal from family, friends and social activities, frequent domestic strife, unexplained overspending, dribbling and sexual drive, pinpoint pupils, weight loss, pallor, chronic constipation, periodic withdrawal, manifestation, sweating and tremors. Now let us learn about withdrawal symptoms of opiates. The anticipatory is 3 to 4 hours in which anxiety, carving, drug seeking behavior is generally seen. Early that is 8 to 10 hours, restlessness, yawning, nausea, sweating, ranhoria, leg maration, midrasses, stomach cramps, drug seeking behavior is seen. Fully developed stage that is 1 to 3 days in which tremor, pylorication, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle spasm, hypertension, tachycardia, fever, chills, impulse driven, drug seeking behavior is observed. In the protracted abstinence that is up to 6 months, hypertension, bicardia, insomnia, anorexia, stimulus driven opiate, carving is observed. Now let us learn about the post-mortem appearance. 
the post mortem advents are not very characteristic but have prominent marks of asphyxia the face and nails are sinuoused and livid fourth is usually seen at nostrils and mouth blood is typically dark and fluidic small soft and brownish lumps of opium may be present in the stomach which may also look brown and vesicle and may give the smell of opium the odor of opium is noticed as soon as the chest is open but disappearance after the onset of putrefaction the trachea and the respiratory tubes are pinkish congested and covered with fruit besides all these the autopsy findings in the case of death due to opium poisoning may also like injection mark dermal abscess carrying injection marks may possibly present in the antitubital fossa forearms back of hands neck groin and ankles emaciation and unkempt appearance gross pulmonary edema with froth exuding out of the mouth and nostrils especially in sudden heroin related death another frequent autopsy finding in heroin fatalities is undiagnosed pneumonia cerebral edema congestion of liver with enlargement of hepatic lymph nodes chemical analysis of lymph nodes may reveal presence of morphine myocardial damage with the focus in formed by small mononuclear inflammatory cells and with degenerated narcotic myocardial fibers and conjunctions has been shown to occur as a result of prolonged hypertoxic coma which has the opiate intoxication now let us summarize what we have learned in this module in greek opium is the name of poppy juice the opium poppy originated in the eastern mediterranean and it is used as been well documented by ancient civilization in particular many famous greeks promoted opium's therapeutic properties to rise up the mood and work as general tonic the morphine content of opium varies from 9 to 14% but when the morphine content is 10% it is known as standard opium the alkaloid morphine was isolated from opium by a german apothecary called sertoner who named the alkaloid morphine after morpheus the god of dreams pepper somniferum grows throughout india but its cultivation is banned except on license obtained from central government for growing the plant strictly for the purpose of pharmaceutical government opium factory is situated at gazipur that is up opium is derived juice of pepper semiferim and dry capsule is used as sedative fermentation and polytoise opium when fresh is malleable internally moist coarsely and granular or smooth it is reddish brown to dark brown hard and brittle post ka doda contains 0.1 to 0.3% of morphine poppy seeds like couscous are white harmless demulcent nutritive and used as food and poppy seeds oil is used for lightening purposes and culinary india as it lies in golden triangle on the eastern side and golden crescent on the western side is one of the countries for transit of
morphine and other drugs. Cultivation of opium and production of heroin is done in the golden quadrangle namely Varanasi, Lucknow, Bareilly and Badun district of Uttar Pradesh and adjoining states of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Thank you.